welcome back to our channel. This is your girl Nikki and this is Damar and today we'll be talking about 10 things that I wish I knew before starting med school. So if you're an aspiring doctor or an MBBS applicant, these are some useful tips for you. Stay tuned. So number 10 guys is to develop healthy habits. I know med school can be really really draining but guys remember you come first. So you need to eat properly, you need to drink properly and you need to put in some exercise when you can because you may be sitting around with your books all day in bed and you just don't feel like doing anything. This comes with it guys but guess what? you come first and you have to take care of yourself the exams will come and go but you will always be you there are also some very good vitamins by the health center you can get them for a very reasonable price take your vitamin guys because it's so draining it can take you with it so number nine guys is there's more to life than just being in med school you should try to have fun just the same you can even go to a party you can chill out with your friends, just hang out, just enjoy the moment. I know that med school can take up a lot of, of your time, but you should also keep in touch with your family. And most importantly, enjoy your first and only summer break. You only get one. So guys, coming in at number eight is to gather your resources. So there are many things you'll need for med school, but there are some basic necessities that is very important, of which is like a clipboard. You can get these for a very reasonable price at the bookshop. You can get a flash drive or a hard drive because there's going to be so much information. There's going to be textbooks, soft copies. There are going to be lots of things you can practice and so on. So you need good amount of information stored. And remember guys, your devices can fail. So always have a backup plan. Next on our list are the tuition fees. I know that the tuition fees can be expensive at times. So it's always good to have some financial plan ending into med school or any degree program. There are scholarships, however, that you can apply for that can help to pay your fees. Also, there are loans. I know a lot of people are reluctant when it comes to loans. But guys, remember you're making an investment towards your future. So never let your finances deter you from your goals. So number six, guys, we have go to your lectures, go to your tutorials, and go to your labs. I know some of you guys, when you come to university, you're going to be like, oh, I don't want to go, it's just an hour or so on. But guys, it is important because learning is a process and repetition is key. When you learn something and you continue to repeat it over and over and over again, that's when it sticks and that's when you understand more so guys listen to me and listen to me carefully go to your lectures go to your labs and go to your tutorials the lecture starts eight o'clock in the morning guys you used to go to high school when school starts at seven you can make this eight go to your lectures go to your tutorials and go to your labs i'm warning you guys go to your lectures tutorials and labs so number five on the list guys is a very important one ensure that you find a serious study partner or partners med school is all about teamwork imagine there's a heavy block if you're trying to lift that block by yourself maybe it will take a lot of effort but if three or more persons come and they try to lift that block it's very much easier it's the same scenario so you can have your study group um, accompany you to the anatomy labs you can study with them, you can go through materials. There may be someone who is stronger in one area that can help the group with that course or that aspect of studying while others may be stronger in other areas. So it's always important for you to find a good study group. For our list today is to give yourself a head start. 
guys as i said before learning is a process and repetition is key so what you need to do guys if you can go through the lectures or information on the lectures before going to the actual lecture because when you go there with a blank head things might just roll over and you don't understand much and you have to go back home to do post studying and so on but if you come to that lecture or lab or tutorial prepared you know what is going on so anything the lecturer says you have a good understanding and if you don't have a very good understanding you can identify some words and some concept and understand this and with this it's much easier for you to understand the entire course and you'll see that the things get easier as you go along so as i said before guys no last minute cramming or anything like that because that can seriously affect you and you can have mental breakdowns and so on. So just give you give yourself that head start because it's good for you. It's beneficial for you. That head start will make you understand that head start will give you the edge in exams. So as I said before guys, go through your material. So number three on our list guys is know and understand your material. Also, you need to know how to apply it because although majority of the examinations are MCQs, it's not like any normal MCQ that you're accustomed to with A, B, C, D. Options can go from A to P. So as you can see, a lot of options for you to select from. So if you don't know the material, then it'd be very difficult for you to guess that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, guys, P. All right, so remember, you're not just studying for exams, you're also studying to practice. So these applications and understanding and comprehension, they will help you a lot when you reach the clinical stage. Excellent. So coming in at number two today, guys, is to listen to good advice from your med siblings. So med siblings are a person who is usually a year ahead of you that tells you their experience, they support you, they encourage you and tell you how to get good grades, what they did, they give you good advice and so on to succeed. So listen to them, listen to these advice because they really help. And number one on our list, guys, is never give up on your dreams. I know it may be difficult right now, but trust me, it will be worth it in the end. And guys, there might be courses where you weren't successful in your first attempt. Guys, this is not the end of the world. Sometimes you have to just accept failure and try again. Failure does not mean the end. We all know the stories of successful people and we know that they did not get successful in the first attempt. We've heard all those stories. So what I'm trying to say, guys, is sometimes we just accept failure as an option to revise some more, to do some more work, to study harder, and so on. Because sometimes you might really study hard for a course and you still end up getting a low grade or a grade that you did not expect. This is not the end of the world, guys. Just remember, it is good to try again. Do not give up on your dreams. And as the Mar said, it's hard now, but it it's worth, worth it. it. So thank you so much, guys, for watching episode one with us. You now know the 10 things you should know before entering med school. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Catch us in episode two. two. Bye. Bye. I know everybody I go like we Still we ivory Come in all of the lights mm. In a dance hall style I know everybody I go like Still me ivory Come in a love life This is no Every time I rise We do it for the love We not do it for the lights Do it for the love We not do it for the lights Do it for the love We not do it for the lights Success don't come overnight. No matter no substance over hype. Do it for the love, we not do it for the life.